just trying a little test here to see how uh, videoing the workbench work comes out. So for this purpose I'm just doing the check test on the merge turntable controller. The uh, turntable board is here, control board. The uh, stepper motor with a bit of Meccano just to show it rotating and the control panel prepared ready for going on the layout. And it's just fed by a Roco transformer as that's uh, my usual workbench power supply or part of it. The first test is to give it its uh, checkout for which you need to press the uh, hold down the button on the control panel while turning on the power so we'll do that first. We hold the button down, turn on the power and then when we let go of the button the LEDs will flash and the arm on the motor will rotate to do the turntable test. First anti-clockwise so you can see that the motor is running steadily around in anti-clockwise direction and when you're happy with it rotating anti-clockwise we press the button and let go again and it should rotate clockwise there we go, clockwise rotation also working nicely. And at the end of that, when you've had enough of that, we can press the button and following which it will inch round in one position steps, uh, which are pretty much too small to see, but uh, you can see the LEDs change colour on each press, so you know that it's stepped one position. We'll try that now. Let go. Now red LED, yellow, red, yellow. The steps are pretty much imperceptible at that uh, range. So it gives you a very accurate positioning. So I did. I have pre-programmed this particular board. So with sort of four random steps to match the switch positions because we haven't actually got the turntable in, in place yet. So to uh, go back into the proper operating mode we need to turn the power off and back on again without holding the button down. So power off. Power back on. Now uh, it'll go through a small setup test, just run the turntable back and forth a little bit and settle down with a steady green LED. The steady green LED tells you that it's all ready to work. So we can test first the, the head and tail switch if we... What's it started flashing for? Interesting. We fix the head and tail switch. It should start to flash red. Then when we press the button it will run round to its new tail position which uh, normally would be 180 degrees but I didn't take any particular care with these positions to go that far and uh, once it gets to its new position stop and the green light is ready for another move similarly if we turn the switch into a new position we'll get the red flash press the button and it will run to that new position and you choose the shortest way to get there, whether clockwise or anti-clockwise. Right, stopped in the new position. Can go back two positions this time. It's going to continue anti clockwise. You 
if you were looking very carefully then you'd have seen that uh, the final movement is just a, a degree or so clockwise so that the slack is always taken up in the same direction. Now we'll try one more position with the, with the change from head to tail as well. Then press. And uh, this time we're going further around again. And stop. So this board seems to be working just fine. Turn off and uh, stop the video.